Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell has now recommitted to battling inflation. I am determined to keep raising interest rates until the job is done, said Powell on Thursday. So far in 2022, Powell has increased interest rates four times. The federal funds rate is now ranging between 2.25% and 2.50%. The U.S. Central Bank meets again on September 20th. What does it mean for inflation? What does it mean for unemployment? What does it mean for the U.S. economy? And, what does it mean for the future of the United States? But, before we get into all of that, please hit the like button and leave us a comment below. We would love to hear from you. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you are notified of upcoming videos when they are released. In a speech today, Powell reiterated the importance of getting inflation under control soon. That is because he does not want the general public get too used to higher prices. And then come to high prices and high inflation as the new normal. Powell said, expectations play an important role and were a critical reason why inflation was so persistent in the 1970s and 80s. History cautions strongly against prematurely loosening policy, said Powell. I can assure you that my colleagues and I are strongly committed to this project and we will keep at it until the job is done, Powell continued. The next central bank meeting is on September 20th and 21st and this was his last speech before the meeting. The Dow and the S&P 500 held steady on Wall Street. This is getting to be a familiar refrain from Powell and so the stock markets seem to have this expectation baked in. U.S. Treasury yields traded higher. The two-year note climbed by five basis points to 3.49%. Markets widely expect the rate-setting Federal Open Market Committee to enact a third consecutive 0.75 percentage point increase this month, said Goldman Sachs. Goldman Sachs and Bank of America expect a three-quarter point increase in interest rates in September. One reason for acting aggressively is to make sure that inflation running around its highest rate in more than 40 years doesn't become ingrained in the public consciousness, Powell said. The Fed has the responsibility for price stability, by which we mean 2% inflation over time, he said. The longer inflation remains well above target, the greater the risk the public does begin to see higher inflation as the norm, and that has the capacity to raise the costs of getting inflation down, Powell also noted. Some Wall Street analysts say that inflation is abating. For example, gasoline prices have been dropping steadily since peaking in June at above $5 per gallon. The Fed gets its last look at inflation data before the meeting next week, when the economists at the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics are expecting a 0.2% rise in the consumer price index. That index was leveled during July. But it was 8.5% higher than in July of 2021. The inflation pressures have come largely from pandemic-specific causes, said Powell. When inflation first began to rise in the spring of 2021, Powell and his colleagues dismissed it as transitory and did not respond with any major policy moves, said Bank of America. The Federal Reserve waited until March 2022 to start raising interest rates. During the 1970s a failure to aggressively raise interest rates allowed expectation of higher inflation for longer to become embedded into the public psyche. We need to act now, forthrightly, strongly, as we have been, and we need to keep at it until the job is done to avoid that," he said. But the U.S. labor market is still strong and that also contributes to higher inflation. Powell wants to make sure that higher labor costs are also under control because it is a factor in inflation. The economy could experience some pain from tighter policy, Powell said in a speech in Wyoming last month. What we hope to cause the labor market to get back to levels that are more consistent with 2% inflation over time, he said. Since it started aggressively raising interest rates earlier this year, the Federal Reserve has promised to defeat inflation with a soft landing for the U.S. economy. In other words, they are trying to reduce inflation to 2% without sparking a recession. But economists and the general public have serious doubts about the ability of the Federal Reserve to achieve that goal. Economists are now speculating that the Federal Reserve is targeting what they call a growth recession. Diane Swank, the chief economist at KPMG, told Bloomberg said, In my mind, these comments signal that the Fed has given up on its hopes for a soft landing. The Fed now recognizes a growth recession is necessary to reduce inflation meaning the Fed will need to slow economic growth to well below its potential, Swank continued. It is a tortious process but less tortious and less painful than an abrupt recession. President of the Federal Reserve Bank of Cleveland Loretta Mester said, I believe that the Fed has more work to do in order to get inflation under control. 
This will entail further rate increases to tighten financial conditions, resulting in an economic transition to below-trend growth in nominal output, slower employment growth, and a higher unemployment rate," Mester continued. I believe that the Fed funds rate will move to 4% by early 2023, and then remain there for some time," Mester further continued. I do not anticipate the Fed cutting the Fed funds rate target next year," Mester also noted. The European energy crisis and ongoing heat waves are currently exacerbating worldwide inflation, Adams also noted. Wall Street analysts are betting that the Federal Reserve will stay the course of its aggressive path of interest rate increases to defeat inflation. This comes even as the unemployment rate is ticking up and layoffs are sweeping the U.S. economy. The U.S. Labor Department released a report showing that employers added 315,000 jobs in July, which is more than expected. The Labor Department report also showed that the U.S. unemployment rate increased to 3.7 percent from 3.5 percent because more people joined the workforce. Wall Street analysts are also expecting that the Federal Reserve will raise interest rates by 75 basis points at its September meeting. Overall I don't think it changes the hand for the Fed as it goes into the September meeting," said Charlie Ripley, Allianz Investment Management senior investment strategist. 75 basis points is still on the table, according to Ripley. Chairman Jerome Powell, said that Fed will raise interest rates high enough to curb economic growth, soften the labor market, and reduce inflation. But he has not spoken definitively about the size of the interest rate hike coming in September. But consumer prices are rising at more than 6% annualized, which is three times the Federal Reserve inflation target of 2%. That is the highest rate of inflation in 40 years. So, the inflation rate will be the primary consideration of the Federal Reserve. That means that layoffs will continue and unemployment will keep rising. But, what do you think? Please leave us a comment below. We would love to hear from you. Please hit the like button. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you are notified of upcoming videos when they are released. Please share this video on social media. Thank you for watching.